I've done a lot of animation and a lot of game programming, like visualizations, the ear canal, but they, they all stay within the computer, you know? They're all digital, they're all uh, kind of uh, in a different world. But now with the 3D printing, suddenly it becomes physical, very much like a sculpture, you know? Bringing it to life, in a way. Something you hold in your hands, because it's still warm, like, like uh, uh, taking potatoes out of the oven. We're actually trying to combine different modalities of printing, of sculpting, of molding in order to make usable medical training devices, procedural skills trainers. So now when we scan this eye, you can see how there's something here. We can bring better training to our students, which automatically brings better care to our patients. It really helps you conceptualize everything. So if we took a 3D print, such as this fetal skeleton. It's based on MRI data, so it's accurate. We may want to embed it in something that has sonographic qualities. So this is our mold. And then we can embed that into uterine tissue-like materials. Two-part silicone that will make a substance that is that feels like flesh. And then we can have students ultrasound it to show which direction it's in, how long it is. You can see here, this is the skeleton with the orbit. With this kind of materials, and interaction that it can do it over and over again. So the needle coming in. Let students try, give them feedback, and then refine their skills based on that feedback without harming or bringing in a patient that you know needs treatment and doesn't need somebody practicing over and over again. We have a 3D printed rib cage. So we've got a suture trainer for corneas. To simulate the pressure in, in the eye. We've got cleft palate trainer. On top of the printed bone. With the correct anatomy, because if you create it and it looks nice, but it's incorrect, it, there's, there's no use for it in the medical field. There you go. You know, it's a, a wonderful way of exploring um, the, um, the life, you know, and nature. I love that I can use something like sculpture to make something that people can actually use and will help improve medicine. It pushes our imagination to new places and that's the thing I like about research is that you come up with an idea that nobody's ever tried before and you get a chance to make a difference with that idea. It's, it's really wonderful you know very uh, exciting. <laughs>